Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Okay, let us continue our discussion on the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008. Okay, yung Republic Act 9520 pa rin. Okay. Uh, last meeting, okay, nag-stop tayo sa, okay, by loss. Okay, now, let us discuss yung federation. Okay. Now, under Article 5, Paragraph G, okay, sabi dyan, in relation to Memorandum Circular Number 2015-1, Federation daw refer to a cooperative, okay, bali lumalabas, cooperative to, <coughs> ang member daw nito ay primary. Now, take note, di ba, pag primary cooperative, okay, ang members nito ay natural person. Tapos, doing the same line of business. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Kaya, ibig sabihin, kung halimbawa, credit cooperative, okay, mga members, puros credit cooperative. Okay, kung consumer cooperative, okay, dapat pare-pare sila consumer cooperative. Kasi dapat same line of business. <coughs> Now, <coughs> okay, para ang keyword dito, tandaan nyo na lang is, yung term na federation. Yung ba mga kapederasyon. Kaya kapederasyon, dapat same sila. Okay? Kaya yun ha, same line of business. Okay, now what are the function of federation? Okay, ito yung mga function class ng federation. Okay, a federation of cooperatives shall undertake the following functions. Okay, to carry on any cooperative enterprise authorized under Article 6 that complements, augments, or supplements but not conflict, complete, where no supplant, nor supplant the business or economic activities of its members. Kaya ibig sabihin, nagko-complement lang siya. <clears throat> to carry on, encourage and assist educational and advisory work relating to its members' cooperatives. <clears throat> to render services designed to encourage simplicity, efficiency, an economy in the conduct of the business of its members' cooperatives and to facilitate the implementation of their bookkeeping, accounting, and other system and procedures. <coughs> to print, <coughs> publish, and circulate any newspaper or other publication in the interest of its member, cooperatives, and enterprises. To coordinate and facilitate the activities of its members' cooperatives to enter into joint ventures with national or international cooperatives of other countries in the manufacture and sale of products and services in the Philippines and abroad. And last is to perform such other function as may be necessary to attain its objectives. <coughs> okay, now, i-compare nyo siya sa union naman. Okay, pag union, cooperative daw to, ang member naman niya, mga registered cooperative. Okay, as well as federations. <clears throat> okay, organized purposely to represent the interest and welfare of all types of cooperative. Yung kanina kasi sa federation, di ba, dapat same line of business. Okay, ito regardless of types na. Okay, kaya nire-represent ng union is, okay, the entire, all types of cooperatives na. <clears throat> okay, at the provincial, city, regional, and national levels. <clears throat> okay, ito naman class ang purpose ng cooperative union. Okay, cooperative union may have the following purposes. To represent its members' organization. Okay, bali yung entire organization na yan. <clears throat> to acquire daw, analyze, and disseminate economic, statistical, and other information relating to, the, to its members and to all types of cooperative within its area of operation. To its sponsor, its studies in economic, legal, financial, social, and other pieces of cooperation and publish the result thereof. To promote the knowledge of cooperative principles and practices. <clears throat> okay, to develop the cooperative movement in the respective jurisdictions. Okay, to advise the appropriate authorities on all questions relating to cooperatives. Okay, to raise funds through membership fees, dues and contributions, donations and subsidies from local and foreign sources, whether private or government. And last is to do and perform such other non-business activities as may be necessary to attain the foregoing objectives. 
Na cooperative unions may assist the national and local government though in the latter development activities in their respective jurisdiction. Okay, now tingnan nyo plus yung distinction between federation and union. Okay, yan yung importante. Now, ano yung kanilang distinction? Okay, ulitin natin ha, sa federation, okay, primary cooperative. That's why ang members ay mga natural person. Okay, okay di ba pag primary cooperatives, okay, bali, uh, ano yan, natural person. Okay, sa union naman, mga registered and or federations. Okay, dapat ito same line of business. Okay, ito naman, interest ng all types of cooperative na. Okay, dun sa provincial, city, regional, and national levels. Okay, ito nagko-complement lang. Okay, samantalang ito, it represent okay, its members' organization. <coughs> okay, <coughs> now let us proceed now sa types of cooperative. Okay, now ang advice ko lang sa inyo is pakifamiliarize dito yung mga types of cooperative. Kasi magandang maggawa ng question sa types of cooperative. Pero, syempre, obvious naman yung mga sagot. Okay? Now, makikita mo from the word itself kung ano yung kanyang types of cooperative. Okay? Now, minention ko before, dun sa article of cooperation, di ba nakalagay yung purpose, okay, purpose nung cooperative. Okay? Pakitugma nyo yung mga item na sa purpose dun sa mga types of cooperatives dito. <coughs> Now, yung credit cooperative, okay, which promote thrift daw among its members and create funds in order to grant loan for productive and provident purposes. <clears throat> okay, di ba ang concept ng credit cooperative, yung mga members magkakaroon ng contribution, okay, sa cooperative, okay, magpupul sila ng fund. Kaya pag later on, yung each members ng cooperative, okay, kailangan nilang manghiram, okay, they can immediately borrow from the cooperative. Now, paano kikita yung cooperative dito? <clears throat> Okay, syempre yung mga okay members, kikita yan kasi magkakaroon sila ng interest on share capital. Pero pag nagkaroon ng borrowing kunwari yung mga members, then magkakaroon naman sila ng patronage refund. Okay, yung credit cooperative kikita naman dito kasi okay, pag nag-lend sila do sa mga members, then magkakaroon sila ng interest. <coughs> Consumers cooperative naman, the primary purpose of which daw is to procure and distribute commodities to members and non-members. Now, halimbawa sa mga schools, okay, normally di ba nag cooperate ng kantin, okay, and bookstores are normally cooperative. And that is a consumer cooperative. Pero may mga school na kito combine kasi yung credit and consumer cooperative, kaya they become a what we call a multi-purpose cooperative. Kaya kung multi-purpose cooperative, kinombine mo yung two or more types of cooperative. <coughs> okay, now, by the way, sa consumer cooperative, normally, okay, nagkakaroon sila ng transaction with both members and non-members nga. Okay, another is producers cooperative, okay, one that undertakes joint product, whether agriculture or industrial. Okay, marketing cooperative, okay, one which engage in supply of production input to members and market their products. Services, service cooperatives, okay, one which engage in medical and dental care, hospitalization, transportation, insurance, housing, labor, electric lights and powers, communication and other services. So, broad na kasi yung service cooperative. <clears throat> Pero halimbawa, ang primary purpose talaga nila, okay, ay insured yung okay uh, life and property ng members then it becomes an insurance cooperative okay kung ang primary purpose is mag-provide ng housing sa members then it becomes a housing cooperative <coughs> okay now multi-purpose naman is one which combines two or more of the business activities of these different types of cooperatives Kaya sabi ko kung kinumbahin mo yung consumer at the same time credit cooperative, then it becomes a multi-purpose cooperative. <coughs> okay, hindi naman siya limited sa ito. Eh. Pwede combine mo yung two or more. Okay, advocacy cooperative naman. Ang pri primary cooperative daw, which promotes and advocate cooperativism among its members and the public through socially oriented projects, education, and training, research, and communication, and other similar activities to reach out to its intended beneficiaries. Okay? Uh, I repeat, ha, familiarize lang. Okay? Kasi, halimbawa, tinanong kayo. 
Okay, lalagay nun kunwari, ang purpose niya is mag-provide ng housing sa members. Mga choices kunwari, advocacy cooperative, okay, housing cooperative, insurance cooperative, credit cooperative. Okay, now since mag-provide ng housing, okay, sa members, okay, then that is a housing, okay, cooperative. <coughs> Kaya pakifamiliarize lang. Okay, kasi maraming pwedeng itanong dito. Okay? Now, agrarian reform cooperative naman, sabi dyan, one organized by marginal farmers daw. Majority of which are agrarian reform beneficiaries, okay, for purpose of developing an appropriate system of land tenure, land development, land consolidation, or land management in areas covered by agrarian reform. Cooperative bank, okay, one organized for primary purpose of providing a wide range of financial services wide range of financial services to cooperatives and their members. <coughs> okay, another is dairy cooperative. Okay, one whose members are engaged in production of fresh milk. Diba pag dairy, syempre, okay, involving milk product. Okay, <coughs> kaya makikita mo na from the word, okay, uh, itself. Okay, na yan ay a dairy cooperative. Okay, ito naman, ang primary purpose is owing and operating licensed educational institution. Siyempre, education, cooperative siya. Okay, ito ang primary purpose is undertaking of power generation. Siyempre, may idea ka na, na electric cooperative yan. <coughs> Financial service cooperative is one organized for primary purpose of engaging in saving and credit services and other financial services. Saving and credit services and other financial services. Okay, financial service cooperative. Okay, ito naman, inorganize sa mga marginalized fishermen in localities whose products are marketed either as fresh or processed products. Okay, we call it fishermen cooperative. Diba from the word itself, marginalized, okay, fishermen. <clears throat> now, health service cooperative, ang primary purpose niya, mag-provide ng medical dental and adult health services. Okay, kanina kasi di ba may service cooperative. Okay, wide range kasi yun. Okay, ito ang prim primary purpose lang talaga ay medical, dental and other health services. Okay, another is housing cooperative. Okay, one organized to assist or provide access to housing for the benefit of its regular members. Okay, who actively participate in the saving program for housing. Okay, it's co-owned and controlled by its members. Kaya yeah, from the word itself, okay, magpro-provide ng housing. <clears throat> Insurance cooperative is one engaged in the business of insuring life and property of cooperatives and their members. <clears throat> Transport, okay, cooperative is one which includes land and sea transportation limited to small vessels as defined or classified under Philippine maritime laws organized under the provision of the scope. Okay, water service cooperative, okay, one organized to own, operate, and manage water system for provision and distribution of potable water for its members and their household. Okay, workers cooperative is one organized by workers, okay, yan, from the word itself, they were workers including the self-employed who are the same time. Okay, the members and owner of enterprise, its principal purpose is to provide employment and business opportunities to its members and manage is in accordance with cooperative principles. And of course, other types of cooperative as may be determined by the CDA or the Cooperative Development Authority. <clears throat> okay, ulitin ko ha, pakifamiliarize yung mga types of cooperative. Okay, now ulitin ko lang klasa yung sa multi-purpose kasi. Okay, di ba pag multi-purpose, uh, kinumbay ninyo yung two or more types of cooperative. Na ulitin ko, uh, dalawang paraan para makapag-organize ng multi-purpose. Either, okay, mag okay, organize ka immediately or directly ng multi-purpose para kailangan i-comply nyo lahat ng requirements set forth under the implementing rules. Okay, specifically, <coughs> yung capital requirement na at least 100,000 or the amount required by the feasibility study, whichever is higher. <coughs> okay, and of course, meron pang other requirements set forth under the implementing rules. Or pangalawang option nyo ay i-transform ninyo yung single cooperative into a multi-purpose cooperative. Pero may requirement kasi under the law na dapat at least 2 years in operation kayo bago matrans okay form yung single okay cooperative into a multi-purpose. Uh, by the way, makikita mo yan sa Article 10, okay, no RA 9520. Yeah, yan ha, single purpose cooperative may transform. 
Kaya pwede mo siyang i-convert into multi-purpose. Pero dapat, in operation na kayo for at least 2 years. <clears throat> Now, ito naman yung definition ng single line or single purpose cooperative. Shall include cooperative undertaking activities which are related to its main line of business or purpose. <clears throat> Okay, now, what are the categories of cooperative? Yung kanina pinag-usapan is types of cooperative. Ito naman is categories. Ang categories ng cooperative, okay, pwede yung divide into membership, saka yung territorial consideration. Pag as to membership, pwede yung primary, secondary, tertiary. O yung primary, ang members niyan, natural person. Yung secondary, ang member naman niyan, ay primary. Okay, ang tertiary, ang member ay secondary. Now, sa territorial consideration, yan naman yung area of operation. <coughs> now, let us proceed now sa merger and consolidation. <coughs> okay, now, of course, you're already familiar with merger as well as consolidation. Kasi meron na yan sa corporation setup. Kaya alibawa, si A nga, okay, mari A, cooperative, B, cooperative, tapos mawawala si B. May surviving, we call it merger. Pero walibawa A tapos B, pareha silang mawawala kasi magkikrate kayo ng consolidated cooperative. Then we call it okay consolidation. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> pansinin nyo ang voting requirement. Okay, pag kinompare mo kasi sa corporation law yan, sa corporation law is majority ng board of director and at least two-third ng outstanding capital stock ng both constituent cor corporation. Now, dito naman, okay, kailangan ko ng approval ng three-fourths ng all members with voting right present and constituting a valid quorum ng each constituent cooperative. Tapos, mapapansin mo, lahat ng mga dissenting members, okay, pwede kayong mag-exercise ng appraisal right. <clears throat> ano nga yung appraisal right? Ito yung lumalabas na right ng members na mag-demand ng return of capital at market value. <clears throat> Okay? Kaya pwede silang mag-withdraw sa cooperative. Okay? Once nag-oppose sila dun sa proposed merger or consolidation. At sabi dito, uh, mag-totok effect daw yung merger consolidation from the time the CDA issue a certificate of merger or consolidation. Kaya ibig sabihin, the moment ng CDA nag-issue na ng certificate ng merger consolidation, mag-totok effect na yung merger or consolidation. <clears throat> Now, ano ba yung effect ng merger and consolidation? Okay? Uh, sa merger, lumalabas yung surviving cooperative. Di ba may, survivor, may, may surviving cooperative dyan? Okay, yung isa kasi, ang effect is madidissolve. Okay? Now, kaya sabi dyan, the constituent cooperative shall become a single cooperative, which in case of merger, shall be the surviving cooperative. Okay? Ito yung matitira sa merger, may surviving tayo. Sa consolidation, of course, wala namang surviving. But rather, magkikreate ng tinatabag na consolidated cooperative. Now, sabi dyan, yung separate existence daw, okay, nung constituent cooperative shall cease, mati-terminate siya, except yung surviving sa merger. Okay, tapos sa consolidation naman, yung consolidated cooperative. <clears throat> Kaya parang ganito, di ba? Halimbawa, A tapos B. <clears throat> Okay, lumalabas kung merger may surviving kung mari si A. Kaya lumalabas ito, mati-terminate yung separate legal personality niya. Ang may iiwan, of course, yung surviving cooperative. Kung halimbawa ko, okay, consolidation naman, AB, tapos mati-terminate yung separate legal personality nito, ito rin, mati-terminate yung separate legal personality kasi magki-create ka ng new separate legal personality for the consolidated cooperative. <clears throat> Now, the surviving or the consolidated cooperative shall possess all the assets, right, privileges, immunities, and franchise of each of the constituent cooperatives. Okay, the surviving or the consolidated cooperative shall be responsible for all liabilities and obligation of each of the constituent cooperative in the same manner as if such surviving or consolidated cooperative had itself incurred such liability or obligation. Parang same effect lang siya dun sa corporation law. Kung baga, dito sa merger, lahat ng asset and liabilities nung na-dissolve na cooperative, a-absorb lang siya nung okay, surviving cooperative. 
Kung sa consolidation naman, lumalabas yung asset, okay, yung rights and obligation nito, saka yung rights and obligation nito, i-absorb lang siya ng consolidated cooperative. <coughs> okay, now question. Can a cooperative belong to a different category via parties to merger or consolidation? Kasi alibawa ganito, uh, yung isa primary cooperative, yung isa secondary. Pwede ba silang mag-merge or mag-consolidate? The answer is no. Okay, wala sa batas yan, pero kung babasahin mo yung provision sa implementing rules, hindi pwedeng mag-enter ng merger or consolidation okay, kapag you are belong to a different category. Kaya dapat, <coughs> primary, primary, pwede. Secondary, secondary, pwede. Tertiary, tertiary, pwede. Pero kung primary, secondary, or primary, tertiary, hindi siya allowed. <coughs> okay? O, yan. Now, punta naman tayo sa membership. <coughs> okay, by the way, uh, pag bilang sa yung Article 26 ng Republic Act 9520, ang members kasi natin ay regular or associate. Pag regular daw, na-comply lahat ng all membership requirement. At entitled kayo sa lahat ng right and privileges ng membership. Samantalang ang associate member, hindi siya, hindi niya na-comply lahat ng requirement for membership. Okay, at wala tong right to vote and the right to be voted. Okay, at ang right lang daw nito ay only those privileges as provided in the bylaws. <coughs> okay, now, nare-recall niyo bang may binanggit ako before dun sa capital <coughs> or share capital? Kasi pwedeng mag-issue ang cooperative ng two classes of share capital. Okay, pwedeng preferred sa kayong common. Now, kaya pinapasok ko yun dito kasi para maintindihan nyo na normally, kapag may associate member, dalawang classes of shares ang ini-issue nyo. Okay, bali ito yung okay, ordinary sa kayong preferred. Kasi yung preferred, yan yung i-issue natin sa mga associate members. Kasi ang associate members ay walang right to vote and the right to be voted. Pero by the way, under the implementing rules, di ba sabi ko, out of the total okay, capital, <coughs> dapat yung share capital hanggang 25% lang ang pwedeng ila-allocate niya. Kaya halimbawa, kung halimbawa sabi natin plus na okay, 10 million yun, Dapat ang pwedeng maging uh, preference lang is up to 2.5 million lang. Kung halimbawa ang authorized natin is 10 million, it mean 2.5 million lang ang pwedeng natin i-allocate for the okay, uh, preference shares. <coughs> Now, wala yan class sa RE 9520, but makikita mo siya sa provision sa implementing rules. Okay, <coughs> na inisyo ng CDA. <coughs> Okay, now, ito, possible question to class. Possible question. Okay, meron bang instance class na yung associate member shall be treated now as a regular member? Take note, ha? Ang nakalagay pati sa batas, shall be treated. Ibig sabihin, shall be considered as a regular member na. Kaya kahit associate member ka lang, matitreat ka na as regular member. <coughs> If the following requisites are present. <coughs> Number one, okay, yung associate member daw, na-meet na niya yung okay minimum requirement of regular membership. Second, dapat daw continuously pinapatronize ng associate member, okay, yung okay, uh, product ng cooperative for two years. <coughs> And another, okay, sinignify niya ang kanyang, sa kanyang, ang intention niya, sinignify na okay, nung uh, members or associate members yung uh, niyang intention na i-remain yung kanyang membership. Kaya ibig sabihin, pag na-meet niya yung tatlong requirement dito, okay, iti-treat na siya <coughs> as a regular member. Kaya lumalabas, meron na siyang right, okay, of regular member. Meron na siyang right to vote and the right to be voted. <coughs> Now, ito class ang distinction natin ha, sa regular and associate. Ito, na-comply all membership requirement. Ito, hindi na-comply lahat ng all membership requirement. May right to vote. Ito, walang right to vote. 
Okay, entitled to sa lahat ng right and privileges ng membership, ito ang right niya is only provided or privileges provided in the bylaws lang. Now, <coughs> okay, ito, baka matanong lang kay if any, pwede bang mag-organize ng cooperative ang mga minor? The answer of course is yes. Pero ang tawag natin sa kanya, <coughs> okay, hindi... Minority cooperative. <laughs> okay, but rather we called it laboratory co cooperative. Kaya yung laboratory cooperative, ito yung cooperative na inorganized class ng minor. Now question. Okay, is laboratory cooperative has okay a juridical personality? Meron bang juridical personality ang laboratory cooperative? Okay, the answer is no. Okay, none. Wala siyang separate juridical personality. Kasi nga mga members niyan ay minor. Uh, in fact, if you read the implementing rules, meron, mayroon tayong separate okay, rules pagdating sa laboratory cooperative. Okay? Now, inorganize yung laboratory, co laboratory cooperative kasi nagsiserve yan as parang training grounds pa. Okay? Para habang bata pa, okay, tinuturoan na sila Okay, ng cooperative practice. <clears throat> okay, kaya yan ay may special guidelines yan as promulgated by the CDA. Now, <clears throat> okay, let us proceed now sa prohibition sa government officers and employees. Okay, ito class ang rule ha. Government officers and employees. Okay, sabi yan, officers or employees of CDA are disqualified daw. Okay, bisimi pag kayo ay officer or employee ng CDA, bawal kayo for any position. Take note na any position, whether elected or appointed. Ang exception dito, cooperative organized by officer and employees of the CDA. Kasi di ba ba, yung mga empleyado ng cooperative development authority, pwede rin silang mag-create ng kanilang, okay, cooperative itself. <clears throat> okay, pero kung sa iba, okay, <clears throat> hindi pwede. Any position, okay, whether appointed or elected. Okay, ito naman, all elected officials. O, sino may mga elected officials? Di ba, mga congressman, senator, president, vice president, mayor, vice mayor, okay, mga councilor. Okay, tapos sabi dito, bawal silang maging officers and directors. Ang exception natin, okay, kung yan ay party list representative. Okay, yan yung exception na Party list representative being an officer Of a cooperative He, is, he or she represent <clears throat> Okay Now, any government employee Or official though may in the discharge of his duties As member in the cooperative Be allowed by the end of office Concerned to use official time For attendance at a general assembly Board and committee meeting Of cooperatives as well as cooperative Seminars, conferences Workshops, technical meetings, and training courses locally or abroad provided that the operation of the office concern are not adversely affected. <clears throat> okay, now question class. Sino ba ang pwedeng maging member ng cooperative? Okay, uh, pag naging class sa primary cooperative, syempre dapat natural person. <clears throat> Kasi remember, pag primary cooperative, di ba sa kategory natin, ang members ng primary cooperative ay natural person. Okay, pero pagdating sa secondary and tertiary, lumalabas ang members niyan. Di ba pag secondary, ang members is primary. O, lumalabas, juridical person yun, which is cooperative yun. Okay, or pwedeng non-profit organization. Okay, kaya ito, nag-apply ito sa secondary and tertiary. Ito naman is sa primary cooperative. <coughs> okay, now, halimbawa gusto kong maging member ng cooperative. Anong gagawin ko? Uh, Siyempre, mag-fill up ka ng application form. <laughs> diba? Okay, mag-fill up ako ng application form. Okay? At isasubmit ko yan sa cooperative. Okay, ngayon yung board of director, <clears throat> dalawa lang ang option yan. Either i-deny ang application mo or i-approve ang membership mo. Ngayon, pag ang board of director in-approve ang inyong membership, automatic member ka na. Pero hindi ka pa pwedeng mag-exercise ng right until... Okay, nagkaroon ka ng payment ng membership. O kaya, nag-contribute ka. <clears throat> okay, uh, or determined ng bylaws yan. <clears throat> or second naman is i-disapprove. Ngayon, 
Okay, kapag halimbawa ang Board of Directors dinisapprove ang inyong application for membership, pwede kayong mag-appeal before the General Assembly. Kaya okay, bisibin appealable siya sa GA. Now, pwede pero take note, ang General Assembly pwede mag-create ng tinatawag na Appeal and Grievance Committee na may terms of office na one year. Okay? Pwede sila mag-create ng Appeal and Grievance Committee na may term of one year. Okay, ngayon, kung halimbawa nag-create ng Appeal and Grievance Committee ang General Assembly, then, okay, pwede kayong mag-appeal okay, within 30 days upon receipt. <coughs> now, <coughs> Okay, ngayon, okay, kapag halimbawa nagkaroon ng inaction, okay, that is deemed approved. O kung disapproved naman siya, okay, that is already, okay, uh, final. <coughs> okay, kaya magiging final siya. Okay, kapag nagkaroon ng disapproval sa part ng GA. Pero kung halimbawa nagkaroon ng uh, appeal and grievance committee, appeal kayo sa General Assembly. Pero syempre yung decision ng General Assembly, is final. <coughs> Kasi bakit ka naman nagpipilit? Eh, ayaw ko ang isa maas member, di ba? Okay? <coughs> Ngayon, ano ba yung legal basis? Ito yung legal basis, makikita nyo sa Article 28. Sabi na, applicant daw for membership shall be deemed a member after approval. <coughs> okay, once in-approve ng uh, membership nyo ng board of director, deemed member ka na. Pero hindi ka pa pwedeng mag-exercise ng right. Okay, unless, of course, okay, nagkaroon ka na ng payment. Okay, to the cooperative in respect to membership. Kasi may membership fee siyan. O kaya, naka-acquired ka ng interest as prescribed in the bylaws. <clears throat> now, in case membership now is refused or denied by the board of director, okay, o yung bisibihin, okay, denied ang inyong application for membership sa BOD level. Pwede ka mag-appeal sa GA at ang decision ng General Assembly, of course, is final. Okay, <clears throat> Pero for this purpose, yung GA kasi pwede yung mag-create na tinatawag na Appeal and Grievance Committee nga. Okay, committee. Okay, na may term of office na one year. Okay, pero lumalabas, sabi dito, uh, okay, uh, pwede silang mag-decide okay, ng appeal on membership application within 30 days daw upon receipt thereof. Okay, kung hindi magkakaroon ng action sa part ng committee within 30 days, that is deemed approval of your appeal. Pero pag dininay ng okay uh, general uh, ng appeal ng uh, ibig sabihin pag dininay for in sa inyong uh, inyong appeal ng appeal and grievance committee then pwede pa rin kayong umakyat of course sa general assembly. <coughs> Now, puta tayo sa termination of membership. <coughs> okay, una yung tinatawag na voluntary termination. Kasi di ba ang right to associate Okay, yung right mo maging member ng cooperative, meron ka ring right na ma-disassociate. <coughs> okay, ngayon kung halimbawa ako ay member ng cooperative, ayaw ko nang mag-join sa cooperative, pwede ako magkaroon ng voluntary termination by just giving a notice. Bigay ka lang not notice, 60 days notice to the board of director. Now, <coughs> ngayon kapag halimbawa kayo ay nag okay withdraw. Okay? Ah uh, Uh, let us uh, continue na lang Okay, gagawa na lang po ng separate Okay, may nagugulo eh Okay uh, Okay, stop muna tayo dito sa termination of membership Okay 